Hello, uh, this is my uh, official RGH video. I will be explaining in this video where I got my RGH from uh, and everything to do with an RGH, a modified Xbox. This will cover uh, the process of getting it, where I got it, how I got it, um, so on and so forth. And in the description of this video, I have all of the important links that you need to have or should have if you're uh, thinking about getting it or if you want to do a little bit of research on it or alternatively if you have already bought one from the individual with which I'm going to uh, I guess you could say advertise or tell about um, but definitely if you have just bought an RGH from Tony Mondello I highly, highly, highly recommend and suggest that you go in uh, to every link and so on and so forth. Anyways, I'll have all the important information with a little bit of, you know, text uh, and description to it. Uh, if you don't, if you just want to get right to it rather than listen to this whole video. So, with that said, I'm going to start with step one. You'll need to buy an RGH JTAG. Xbox 360 um, and as we all know there are a hell of a lot of scammers out there nowadays um, so you'll want someone trustworthy you'll want someone that you know you can rely on that isn't sketchy and so on and so forth so in the description I have listed the guy with which I personally got my modified RGH JTAG Xbox from Gardendale Garage uh, alright so upon clicking that you'll have all the different options of how you can have it modified and so on and so forth I personally however did what's called a send-in a send-in is where you yourself with your Xbox send it, it to his house and he RGH is it then he sends it back to you with that though it will come preloaded with the purge mod menu uh, 10 day trial mind you and Jiggy 4.2 for Black Ops 2 with off host mods for Modern Warfare 3 as well as I am sure you've seen in my previous videos to this point um, along with a whole hell of a lot of other games as well uh, so anyways, so you go to the website, you get what you want, you order it. Now, this is the thing. He is as legit as they get. Tony Mondello is literally the most legit person you'll ever buy from in regards to RGH and modding. Um, not only that, but he also has the absolute highest quality work as well I mean he is a perfectionist to the period to the T to everything so um with that as you can imagine with him becoming more popular and getting more orders uh, do not expect to get it uh, shall we say very quickly uh, he will probably have 20 Xboxes ahead of you so you know, you'll be excited, you'll be like, woohoo, I'm finally going to get an RGH so I can mod and, and so on and so forth. But mind you, you're going to have to wait at least two weeks at minimum, if not longer. Uh, but uh, as such, you must understand he's a one man army. He is doing this literally by himself in regards to the actual modding. You'll be contacting Lorraine Rhodes. If I remember correctly, which you will do all the communications with her. As such, Tony is busy with his day job, and then he uh, comes home and RGH his Xbox. So he'll pop out three a day at maximum, typically. Weekends, he goes all sorts of crazy. But nonetheless, do not expect to get it very quickly, but you will get it. And that is the important thing. You will not be scammed no longer. No um, the, it doesn't matter how long you're waiting for you will eventually get it as such he actually is 
taxed by the government because the government, through him, his own willingness, um, sees it as an official business, and therefore he's taxed on this. So as it is an official business, as seen and taxed by the government, uh, if he screws you over, you can you can fuck him up pretty good. So he guarantee you know there is that absolute guarantee right there that he will not scam you. Along with this, they do accept credit card and this and that, but it's uh, regardless of how trusted the individual is, it's always best to go with PayPal, which of course Lorraine Rhodes through contacting her will help you through that process and give you the valid information needed in order to give the payment and get the stuff going. Um, then there's the support groups and, you know, all the Facebook stuff that uh, I've included in the links as well. Uh, the official Tony Mondello uh, Facebook page, which he posts all his uh, video evidence uh, things as well, along with his own personal YouTube channel, which he's done every single one of his clients, uh, customers, however you want to say it, and he posts their uh, proof video, as it's called. Proof video is basically showing proof that he RGH'd it, it's working, it has all the same stuff that everyone else has, um, depending on how you uh, selected things and set it up and, through his website or through the note, a.k.a. Ascendant. Um, and he posts it on YouTube. He will then uh, either post it to your Facebook page or just on his personal page and then uh, through the, the Alliance support groups and so on and so forth. But nonetheless, um, you can look at his YouTube channel. You can see all of the... <laughs> people he's done um so you know okay so you go through all that you know you're excited he sent the xbox to you it'll take eh, three or so days depending on location to get back to you yay you're excited you know just like everyone else would be um so upon getting it uh, there is specific instructions that you must follow that he uh, gives you at the ending of every proof video. So that means watch your proof video beginning to end because it involves very specific instructions to make your RGH work upon getting it. So after you follow those specific instructions for the setup out of the box, uh, which isn't very hard, by the way. It's just you need to do it. And in, if you don't do it or you don't do it the way that he shows you, which is like a three, four, maybe five-step process, nothing too difficult. Anyone can do it. It's just very important to follow to the T. Cannot stress that enough. So anyway, after doing that, uh, then you can connect to load it up, boot it up normally, go to freestyle, and so on and so forth. And you can explore that to which he has done for you. Um, so, along with this, uh, I also included a link to which I get my personal KVs from. A KV is a key vault. A key vault is basically a MAC address for the Xbox. So, when your console gets banned, because it will get banned, uh, depending on, you know, uh, how much you do things and such, uh, you will need to buy another one. Of course, through pay PayPal, as per usual, um, due to how there are, again, lots of scammers and such. Um, but again, I know this person is legit, and I've included their uh, link to their Facebook, which you just messaged them, and you know, they'll give you the whole roundabout, and then you go from there, you pay them, they give you a KV very quickly. You uh, get the KV on a USB and, or Xbox Neighborhood, which I included the link and a few a little bit of instructions which you must follow to install it. Um, and you just install the KV, or rather, replace the KV uh, through USB or through Xbox Neighborhood. 
and that's a very simple process as well. You can just look up, you know, how to change KV on YouTube. I was able to figure it out, and I was completely brand new to this whole process, and I, you know, I'm not that tech savvy, but I still figured it out relatively quickly. So, again, all you got to do is just follow the instructions, and you'll be able to do it just fine. And then once you do it a couple times, you won't even need to look at the video guides anymore. You'll just be able to do it all on your own. Um, and as I will reiterate, in the description of this video is all the important information that you need and all the important links that you need as well. Um, you can just do your, you know, your own thing from there. Uh, but as a further added note, as I will also include in the description, is I have too much integrity to advertise someone that is even the slightest bit sketchy. Even if they have a zero 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 point one percent of being sketchy, I will not advertise them. This guy, Tony Mondello, is so legit that it's it's awesome. It's undescribable how legit he is. So if you're serious about wanting an RGH, a JTAG, a Xbox with which you can use mod menus with, and so on and so forth, you must go to this guy. Because I guarantee, and I don't say this very often about people, but I guarantee this guy is legit as they come. And I have too much integrity to let anyone be scammed or advertise someone that's the slightest bit sketchy. Even if I have the faintest clue that, or idea or thought that they might be someone that's untrustworthy, I will not talk about them. But I did hours Hell, even days of research before I actually went through this process of getting an RGH Xbox. So, I give absolute certainty that there will not be at all any problems uh, with this process. Uh, all you got to do is buy it off the website or do a send-in, which if you contact Lorraine, she'll eventually get to you because you got to remember she handles a lot of the business. Uh, she sells the Purge Lifetime mod menu. Um, she also deals with all the other customers through all the other steps because the only time Tony Mondello will ever contact you is when it's time for your Xbox to be modified and he will let you know that, hey, you're up next, I'm about to work on it. And then after that, he'll say, okay, here's your video. Uh, and then uh, he will... Uh, give you a little chat afterwards and generally of course it's a good idea to thank the guy for all that he did for you um, then after that uh, he, he's pretty much done with you at that point and you therefore go back to Lorraine for anything else uh, specifically after your 10-day trial of the purge is over you'll be contacting him I'm sure <laughs> uh, however if you're going to go for ninja or Africans or anything like that then of course this is somewhat but not entirely valid because this this whole thing that I've done you know from the description in this video is generally for people that uh, are just wanting to have what's preloaded and pre-installed in the Xbox so all the games that are already in there uh, the two mod menus that are already in there and the one off host modding that's there for Modern Warfare 3 but don't really plan to do anything. Of course, later on, obviously, I'm sure they will, but um, I guess you could say this is a, a tutorial guide, whatever, for beginners, noobs, uh, first-timers of the Tony Mondello um, RGH uh, buying process and such. Uh, so I guess that was all the main stuff that I wanted to cover really quick as best as I could so it's important to know that um, you guys follow those steps you go to all the websites you do your own research because I want you to use your own judgment sure taking my word is easy and all because I have that much integrity and character but I want you yourself to to trust your own judgment and judge for yourself is this worth it you know so on and so forth. I'm not, you know, being paid. I wasn't asked to advertise. This is just 
purely because I wanted to, because I was so amazed at how legit this guy was, Tony Mondello. Um, so I, I, I can only give him props and, you know, thumbs up. Because he is awesome when it comes to RGH JTAG tonsils. Uh, so, like I said, if you're 100% serious on wanting an RGH JTAG Xbox so you can finally use mod menus and stealth servers and change KVs and do all that fun stuff that you see on YouTube videos and such, then definitely, I highly suggest that you go to the first link in this video description and go get yourself an RGH Xbox and have some fucking fun. Uh, also, with that, I want to, you know, let you guys know, um, because I made the mistake uh, of this misconception that, you know, th there will be a mod menu for every single game on it. Well, that's not true. Uh <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd be flying around you in yo UFO mode and no clip on extinction and ghost. Well, to m my uh, disappointment, um, there wasn't. You know, so I want y well, I want to make sure that you guys also know that if you want mod menus for you know all the games or specific games that aren't uh, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, uh, so on and so forth. Um, you will have to go out and buy your own, find your own, rather, and so on and so forth. I mean, I I know there's Destruction V1 for Modern Warfare 3. That's a non-off-host modding, which is uh, really good, by the way. It's the best one for Modern Warfare 3. The best mod menu for um, GTA 5 is definitely, unquestionably, Africans. However... They are extremely expensive. You need to have money if you want to use that. I am satisfied with the purge mod menu. But if you want to go even further and change the weather for everyone and do this and that, go for it. But I've heard the only downside is that there aren't very many color selections in regards to car modifications. But, you know, it's it's all perspective from that point. But if you want the best of the best of the very best in regards to mod menus um, concerning GTA, it's Africans all the way. Typically, that's, you know, up with the uh, Ninja Stealth server as well. Um, so that covers Modern Warfare 3, a.k.a. Uh, Destruction V1. Or, you know, at this time, that's what it is. Uh, Africans for GTA V. And um, I haven't found any legitimate mod menus for Call of Duty Ghost, unfortunately. I think it's too old or it just wasn't too, it wasn't good enough for people to really have too much interest in. Because any of the old links that I found in regards to any mod menu relations, they're expired, they don't work, or they're just virus filled. Uh, but by all means, if you want to go a step further and try to find it and hopefully find something that works, go for it. Um, but me personally, after hours, if not days of trying to find, find one, I wasn't able to find it. It sucked. It truly did. I was really, really disappointed because, you know, I played extinction a lot. And so I was like, well, this would be fucking cool to have infinite ammo, God mode, flying around in UFO, no clip mode and exploring the map and such, but you know, whatever. <coughs> Uh, and of course, everyone loves Jiggy, regardless if it's 4.2 or 4.4 for the Black Ops 2. So I, I, su I suppose that's the best for that. Um, and again, I have provided nice mods, I do believe it was, for my KV seller. So you uh, again, if the guy was you know full of shit or wasn't legitimate, then I wouldn't advertise him. I wouldn't you know, say, hey, buy from this guy. So, again, a reliable, trustworthy source for KV selling is in the description of this video. Uh, he is the best in regards to that for what it's worth. Um, I've n had no problems. This KV that I recently bought from him, actually, along with the Alliance servers, uh, has actually been working for a good long time. I've, 
when I first started out, you know, I got banned a couple times, but um, ever since then, I haven't even come close to being banned. So that's pretty awesome for it to last this long. Uh, I sometimes even forget that it's a RGH because it works so smoothly. <laughs> and I haven't had to change my KV in so long, you know. It's, it's pretty great. Um, and, of course, later on there'll be things that you'll have to deal with, I'm sure. Like the launch I and I, um, your plugins and all this other stuff. But, of course, through the support group or what have you, you'll you'll figure it out or you'll have someone help you um, or just YouTube videos, you know, all those options work for you. But either way, once you get the hang of it, you'll see how easy it really is. A lot of people try to make it seem like it's more complicated than it really is. Uh, but for some factors, sure, but in the overall picture of things in regards to uh, RGH, it's actually relatively easy and I'm not very much of a techie guy myself, so... That says a lot. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's not, I guess you could say, mainstream. So not very many people know or understand how this process goes and how to work it. There isn't, uh, you know, a specific store that, you know, you can go to, to this and you find out all the information and this and that. So it's really hard in regards to for that type of information, which makes it seem like it's complicated, which makes it seem like it's hard because it isn't just there for you. You know, you generally have to go by word of mouth or YouTube video or this or that. So I'll give you that much. But trust me, when you get the hang of this, you'll be like, oh, this isn't as hard as I thought it was. It just looks like it's complicated, but it's really, really not. So anyways, um, I hope I helped you guys out. Um, and I hope that by giving all these important links that you will be able to have an easy, smooth RGH buying experience and KV uh, buying experience as well. Uh, you should have a USB at the ready or Xbox Neighborhood downloaded as well in preparation to getting your RGH and so on and so forth so you can get right to it and already have everything prepared so you can get right to modding.